Hey friends, Ash here with Jen's Inspect with my wife Chelsea, and today we've got something a little bit different. So Mother's Day is coming up. We're gonna do a little tournament that I've set up here. We've got six different fragrances. They're gonna go head to head until one is remaining, and then that's just gonna be my fragrance for Mother's Day. So it's kind of anticlimactic, but that's what we're gonna do. So we've got six scents. All of them I think are really nice. You're gonna you're gonna pit them against each other to the death. And I'm we're gonna, gonna have one there. decide by um process of elimination yeah what head-to-head -head matchups what i have to smell all day on mother's day yeah okay sounds Ma good maximum brutality all right yeah. i got it all right so let's do it and today's video is brought to you by fragranceusa.com there's a link in the description below and also if you use this code gent15 you say 15% off anything on the website. Your whole order, 15% off. Not just one item, the whole order. So shout out to FragranceUSA.com. They're a great discounter. Check them out for your niche and designer fragrance needs. Round one. We have Mephisto Gentile Womo. Let me spray the opening for you so you get the, the full Monty. Versus mm. Millicene Imperial M.I to the people that know. Mm. Man, that atomizer rules. This is a pretty serious uh, start here. To the death. Uh, I'm not gonna smash the bottle. It's not actually to the death. Uh, nope, that's the next fragrance. I do not know what you were doing. You were trying to mess up my tournament. <laughs> I'm actually gonna- like You're acting like a magician, like taking all the uh, tester strips, and, like moving them this way and that way, like which one is which? Uh, I'm actually gonna surprise myself. And I'm gonna pick the Creed. Why is that a surprise? I, I like a lot of the Creeds, but then a lot of them too, I heavily dislike. It's either a Creed for me is either like a, I really, really like it or I just really don't like it. That's news to me. <laughs> not, not in my mind. Which ones do you not like? Do you know? Um, uh, what's the uh, green, uh, God, what's that one that I just thoroughly do not like at all? And you love it actually. Green Irish Tweed? Um, Maybe, I can't remember the name of it, I don't know. I've already even put it out of my mind. I don't think you've ever said that you dislike that one. No, there's, I can even point Is it out. Bois du Portugal? No. Is it original vetiver? Because I'm confused now and I'm also a little bit concerned. <laughs> so <laughs> let me, uh, is it this no, one? No, no it's not. She so was confused, she so was saying something about green, but it was Silver Mountain Water. It might, it might even be Green Irish Tweed that I don't like also. Nah, it's not that. If it is, then you just, uh, <laughs> He need to go away. <laughs> Next up is this one. Vetiver Parfum Cologne. Ooh, I love this opening. This opening is fantastic. Uh, I'm definitely gonna go with the Raja. No. Oh. Vetiver Parfum Cologne. Millicene Imperial won one round. Goodbye, Millicene. And that one is gonna go up against, well, that one, Vetiver Parfum Cologne, gonna go up against Baccarat Rouge 540 Ooh. from Maison Francis Kirkshaw. This is getting harder. I like this one a lot. That drawdown smells phenomenal. Opening smells phenomenal. I don't know, let me sniff the Raja again. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This one's a They're hard pretty one. different. Yeah, no, they're very different. Uh, I'm gonna go with the Baccarat Rouge. <laughs> BR 540. So <laughs> we're just having knockout after knockout here. So now Baccarat Rouge 540 moves on. Vetiver out of the tournament. Next up we have, uh, here you go, the dry down for you. Mancera Sicily going up against Baccarat Rouge 540. That one smells good, I like that. It's getting really hard, so I don't know if it's gonna, you know, knock out the Baccarat Rouge 540. These also pretty different. Mm, that smells really good too. And I really just got to think about what I want to smell all day long. Baccarat Rouge 540? Sicily. Baccarat Rouge 540? I'm, I'm gonna go with Baccarat Rouge. Baccarat Rouge. Rouge, the first time that a fragrance has won multiple rounds. Yeah. Well, that one, it's really good. It, um, it's like. That's why it gets hyped or has been hyped for a yeah. long time. No, it's really good. So, is that? That's, uh, we're in the final round now, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, moving right along. So, this final matchup, I was originally only gonna do five, but then I decided to do a wild card and I put it right at the end on purpose. 
And it was actually between this one and a few different ones because they're all uh, pretty similar, honestly. But I went with this one because uh, I didn't have this brand in the tournament and I was like, hey, why not? Just throw it in there. So the final matchup, Baccarat Rouge 540. Mm -hmm. Going up against Hasebat from Nishane because both are high beasts. Yeah, this one smells good too. It's really smoky off the top. Also, again, very different from Baccarat Rouge 540. Yes. This one has drawn comparisons to Aventus. Surprise uh, of the century. I guess maybe I could see that where it's a little smoky. I don't really think that it smells a lot like Aventus at all, but I guess maybe I can see that because there is that little bit of smoke off the top there. Yeah, there's like a little similarity in the fruitiness, but mm -hmm. yeah, it's not the same. But it's, uh, people would say it's like in the same family, maybe. Yeah, Something sure. like that. I could, I could get behind You that. could say it's like the, like the cousin of Aventus, maybe. So... Ooh. Do do or do do. Do do or do do. I don't know. It got a little hard there for a minute, but <laughs> the competition <laughs> yeah. got a little hard there for a minute. I was about to do, hit you with that. That's what she said. <laughs> the competition got a little Dad hard jokes. there for a minute, but actually I think the I think it's pretty clear for me. Baccarat Rouge 540 is the winner. If that's what I'm going to be smelling all day on Mother's Day, I'm happy with that. You know what? This is unisex. Oh, Ladies sexy. can wear it too! Yay! <laughs> yeah, so... Hasavat, see that was the... I thought that was kind of a wild card, you know? Might come in there and shake things no, up I a like little it. bit. I mean, but, the nah. smokiness off the top. Just too smoky? I think a little bit too smoky for me. Mm. Um, that is a really good, um, happy medium. What, I, this one? Yeah, Baccarat Rouge 540 is something that mm. I would be fine with. <laughs> Smelly Shouldn't have done that. Might need those in a second. <laughs> so, okay. Baccarat Rouge 540 is the victor, wiener, and by that I mean winner, mm -hmm. is Baccarat Rouge 540. Uh, fireworks, confettis, uh, what else? Glitter. Yeah, sure. Sparkles. Yeah. You know, stuff that winners get. Yeah. You know what? What came in second, would you say? Do you know? Honestly, uh, probably the Raja. Hmm. Vetiver, Parfum Cologne. Yeah, I really, that opening is really fantastic. I like it a lot. I mean, it really would have been a very close second to Sicily. I mean. Uh, you, you mean this and then yeah, that? Yeah, this would have been like a very, it, it was very close in between this and that for a second. But gotcha. if I absolutely had to pick, it would be Raja. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, I'm a fan of Vetiver in pretty much all of its forms. So I'm, I'm a vetiver dude. I had to put at least one of those in here. And this one, I, you know, I thought it might have a chance because it's got that kind of, you know, sparkly opening. Yeah, no, that looks you know, good. Nice and clean. Green is a good color for the bottle too, I feel like. And green's my favorite color, so. Fair enough. I don't, did that play in? <laughs> green bottle, ooh, I like green. <laughs> yeah, maybe a little bit. <laughs> um, and then Sicily you like because it's got like that kind of, what, fruity sweetness, eh? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I could see that. Uh, this one to me also smells a little unisex, like a lady could pull this off pretty easy, I feel like. Yeah. Like you could probably wear that. Oh, yeah, smells good. So, in the battle for Mother's Day supremacy, Baccarat Rouge 540 is the winner, followed up by Raja Vetiver Parfum Cologne, uh, followed up in third place by Sicily. Very close third, but yes. Yeah. And um, I'm okay with it, you know? I like all of these, so I'm not gonna argue it. I think it's, it's all great. Again, shout out to FragranceUSA.com for the sponsorship. What's the code? Uh, Gents15. No, no S. Gent15. Yes, that's right, good <laughs> job. <laughs> Gent15, 15, 15% off your order. The whole order, specifically. The whole order. Good job, you're learning. <laughs> uh, link in the description and anything else that you would like to say about this uh, apocalyptic battle for the ages that we just witnessed. Uh, no, but you know, happy Mother's Day to everybody out there. Mainly guys watching this, but still yet, yeah, we all got mothers. Happy Mother's Day to your mother is what yes. you meant to say. Yep. Cool. And your spouses. <laughs> and your spouses. Thanks for hanging out with us today or tonight if you're watching in the evening. Stay safe out there 
and I will see you tomorrow with another fragrance video. She probably won't, but I will because I care about you more right. than she does. Oh, how messed up. See ya. <laughs>